hello everyone welcome back to code with yourself youtube channel uh, in this video we will just apply a page transition using react.js with framer uh, motion okay framer uh, motion is uh, uh, just a library for animation it made it very easily to apply animation in your react app okay so let's do it okay this is already um, a website or a theme that i have created using bootstrap so now we will apply page animation and this okay these are different pages uh, now bar and the this is the hero and custom cards and the footer we will apply now the page animation uh, page transition and this uh, theme okay so let's get started so this is the code okay of react.js so i have imported all those things now bar hero feature and footer so i have imported them and these are the component which i have created now bar code just simple this is the bootstrap code okay close it hero feature and footer now to apply this first of all i will install react um, uh, router dom okay so to install them we will move to the terminal and there we will install npm install react router dom and framer motion okay we should install these two libraries i have in let's press enter and we will install them yeah let's wait for it these two packages has installed now let's move and uh, check them in package.json file see bootstrap framer motion and react router dom these has installed let's close it just come here to the after JSX, so here I will import the uh, I will use React Router DOM okay for routing. So for that, let's import browser router first of all from React Router DOM, then routes and route. So after importing them, now let's use them. I will just remove these. Just come here and here I will use Framer browser router and inside that we will use routes uh, first of all i will import the now bar okay because the now bar should be at the top of all pages so for that i will import now bar and after that let's use routes sorry this is routes and inside routes we will use route and route has two parameters the first one is the path the path is this is for home component okay this slash this, it means that by default we will move to the hero page okay we just come here and here we will write the second one property element and we will move to the um, hero let's use the hero component and now let's duplicate it and this one would be for um, a feature and the element will be feature element feature and also the last one for a uh, footer so now let's move to apply it on now bar okay we never repress these buttons at the top that we had this button okay we should uh, um, move to that page that component uh, I think uh, I didn't apply the the cards here yeah. we have just how many components are there we have hero feature and putter here picture and footer yeah that's okay come here to now bar and here instead of uh, just using anchor tag a we will use now link of react router dom so let's import it that has imported from react router dom and instead of href we will use now two property okay two is equal to so for the first one uh, whenever we click on home we should move to the home component home page and for the second one link we will move to the um, feature i think we should write like feature this is feature and for the footer we should move to the footer footer for the cards i think we don't have any component how many components we have a uh, feature footer and hero yeah let's remove this card one let's see it and now let's check it okay let's press home page we are on home feature we came here and to the footer let's and the footer we didn't apply just come here 
uh, yeah this is link see it and where is the error and this is link with us wait and now let's press on footer we came to the footer page now let's apply the um, animation on this okay page transition so for that uh, let's move to the hero first of all uh, whenever we come here to the hero page so we should apply that so for that we will use here instead of first of all we will import let's import um, motion motion from framer motion okay uh, just import this framer the motion from framer motion after importing it now we will use instead of simple this uh, div uh, element we will add div dot motion okay after adding it we should add it at the end that has added automatically now let's apply okay animation on this okay so to apply the animation for that we will use a few pictures properties of this motion the first uh, property is the uh, uh, initial okay initial um, that would be equal to double um, curly braces and here we will write opacity okay opacity is equal to with zero okay uh, at the initial time the opacity is zero and uh, animate we will add animate property is equal to uh, the opacity should be one whenever we would like to animate it to the opacity we should change that to one and an exit whenever we are exiting it on the exit we will add opacity to zero back and also the last one is the transition transition is equal to and here we will add dur duration okay duration for example 3 milliseconds okay let's save it and we will apply it on all other div element also control c copy it come here to the feature and here yeah i hope that's applied that is okay just come here dot motion and we will apply that paste that here save it and also come here to the last one and change it to the dot motion that is okay and just come here to the footer dot motion paste it that is okay So now let's move it okay what happened let's come here and i think we faced with yeah we didn't import the motion in these components okay so let's import it come here to the hero control c copy it paste it here paste it here uh, again we faced with an error yeah i think we didn't add it uh, uh, yeah let's come here to the after j6 here we will add we will add uh, animate presence okay just come here import animate presence from primer motion and now let's wrap all these things uh, yeah in animate presence animate presence let's save it let's move it and let's move to the console what is the error and it says div is not defined at hero so let's check it the hero div dot motion so sorry that is motion dot div okay not div dot motion but that is motion dot div you should write like this okay that has applied let's copy this and we will apply it on all other pages paste it and let's check it the last also motion that you that is okay just come here and we will apply on footer page also paste it and save it motion that you that is okay just come here and let's close this so now let's please the press these pictures see the duration is three footer back to home page features 
in footer so you can change this setting okay you can apply like width and height and uh, whatever you want so just move to the primer motion okay website so you can apply different settings on this uh, uh, animation okay that you can apply so this is a simple example that i have showed you so you can move to the framer website and you can explore it and apply different type of animations that you can do it okay so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching